My name is Robert Bonavito, New Jersey Forensic Accountant. This video is part of a series of videos where I discuss forensic accounting topics for educational purposes only. If this was a litigated matter, I would take a different approach, have different conclusions based on different facts and circumstances. My name is Robert A. Bonavito, a New Jersey Forensic Accountant. Uh, recently, you probably, have, or I, I've been reading in the paper about uh, the Harvard University Endowment Fund only earning 5.8%, and this is uh, uh, for the year 2014. And you know, a lot of people are scratching their heads because most index funds earn 16%, and uh, some funds did far better. So how could the smartest and, and, and best and brightest uh, investment managers only earn, you know, they earned um, uh, less than 6%. And, you know, we do a lot of work for brokerage firms and individuals where we testify on returns and um, that type of stuff in court for legal matters. And, and I just want to get into a little bit how you look at returns, um, how, how we look at returns. And um, there's something called the risk-free rate. What, what the risk-free rate is, it's a riskless rate. It's where there's no default. Like, for example, a, a treasury bill or a treasury bond, which right now are probably at like 2%. So if I invest in a 10-year bond, I'd expect to get 2% guaranteed, right? And the Harvard guys only earned 5.8, which is 3.5%, you know, 4% higher than that. But if I invest in an asset that's risky, I want more money, right? And so we have... Um, the equity risk premium is what we call that, and that's usually eight percent. Okay, so if I'm if I'm investing in uh, stocks, I would expect a rate of ten percent. Okay, because I want to be paid for my risk. It's you know if I pay you to sit at home and watch television, you're going to take a lot less than if I pay you to go climb up on a skyscraper, right? Because there's more risk. You want more money. It's the same thing with investments. Okay, we have a risk-free rate. We got the equity risk premium. We got a 10%. And we use this in our valuations. We use this when we testify, uh, you know, for brokerage firms or against brokerage firms for investment advisors, uh, all kinds of stuff. We do analysis of annuities and and, legal, and litigation matters. So. You know, when I see that um, these pension funds and uh, endowment funds are earning so much less than what, uh, you know, a low-cost uh, index fund would earn, I, I have to scratch my head because I don't understand it. Because, like I said, you're taking all this extra risk because they're not investing in treasury. You know, they're not, they're not here investing in risk-free assets. Okay, they're investing in something else. Um, and to earn half of what you would have gotten in, in an S&P 500 fund, you know, is something, uh, some issue. So, uh, you know, I, I just want to make you aware that um, when we go to court and we testify, we do have things that we utilize to determine whether uh, uh, the, the uh, rate you receive is appropriate. And these are just two of them right here when we do this build-up method, risk-free rate, equity, risk premium. Uh, so something for you to think about. If you have any questions about this video, feel free to email me.